like the fifth or sixth time I've had to film this, so if I forget something, I'm sorry. Um, these are my charms for the Artemake Charm Swap at Your Paper Pantry. Um, Steffi is the host over there. Hi, Steffi. Um, I just wanted to show this is the packaging. I just used the doilies that I got at the thrift store and I held on my little information there with some brads. And on the backs, I just used different Alice in Wonderland um, images that I got off of Google. There's like three, four different ones. Um, so that's that. And let me just show you here. This one you guys already saw. Um, you saw it with the butterfly. I only had enough to make three of these because there were six in the pack, but they're the, the large bead caps that I glued together with the Mod Podge. And then there's the poker chip and the metal rose that I glued on there. The charm um, that I got off of an eBay seller, um, Purple Birdie Store. I'll list her down below. And then this was the little um, Christmas ornament that I took apart from Hobby Lobby. And I glued the trim from Hobby Lobby onto the back. And this piece right here is a large metal piece that I got from Butterbee Scraps. And these I think I got at um, Hobby Lobby. But anyway, y'all have already seen that one. And I just um, attached all of these onto this card with some seam binding, which I had already taken these off in the other video. But anyway, okay, this one here is, this is a spoon that I got from Butterbee Scraps. And then this is a glass, like the pebbles that you get in the bags. Um, these I got at the Dollar Tree and they were large, so they, they work out really well for this. And I just used some Graphic 45 um, Halloween in Wonderland. It's got teacups and tea or teacups and teapots. And I printed We're All Mad here on my computer and cut it in little strips and then I just dressed around it. Um, these are actually the, um, uh, what do you call the head pins that have the holes in them so they're they're rigid and I glued those with I, I stuck them down with some aluminum tape to hold them in place and then I just glued another piece of the Halloween and Wonderland over it to hold it so they're they're attached to this bead connector there's a little bead in there the little head pin okay so there's the connector and then there's a teacup charm on here there's a little like just like bead mix with bead caps and a little teapot and teacup and then the little jar I got from Butterbee Scraps with the cork and the little screw eye and I printed out the drink me and I put um, some stickles and some Mod Podge in there to make it look like it's got liquid in it so that one turned out pretty pretty interesting it was originally going to be on a domino but I couldn't get the domino to work and I just didn't like it so there's that one and then this one is totally different. It was going to be a little mini playing card with some dangle down below. And I didn't have enough of the red heart um, mini cards. And I couldn't find any mini cards anywhere. So I used this. This is actually like a watch. It's got arm hands. And it was bronze. I think I got this from Butterbee Scraps as well. And I didn't like it bronze. So I wanted to do these black, these really cool like glow beads. So I painted it black with gloss black enamel and then I went over it with Mod Podge and this is the little heart rhinestones that I had showed that I gotten from Hobby Lobby. Obviously seam binding and there's a little bale, um, a bale that I got from Walmart. And then this actually is a link out of a large bracelet that I got from some junk jewels. And this is the link out of the bracelets that I had shown and I painted it black because they were like a bright gold. The queen I printed out on my computer because I didn't have enough queens on my little playing cards. And of course I put it in there and Mod Podge it and it's, it's blurry because of the Mod Podge and the ink. So anyway, but that's a little Stickles heart that I put over the actual heart that was on the card. And then there's the little round bead and then there's the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He's got his little coat of arms on. So that's it, and hope y'all like them. And like I said, they're not as artemakey as I had wanted, but they'll work. And um, Steffi gets to pick which one she wants. They're all pretty much the same except for the butterfly. And that was it. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments. I'll see you later.